Today is day four of 30 sharing information that you should know if you've been diagnosed with fatty liver or cirrhosis. Did you know that the rates of liver cancer are projected to rise by 55% by the year 2040? The primary driver of this is that rates of fatty liver disease are also on the rise. Liver cancer is very much so a preventable cancer. The primary risk factor for liver cancer is having cirrhosis. They're so tightly linked together that it's recommended to have an MRI or ultrasound of the liver every six months in order to detect if there's a tumor there. Catching liver cancer early before it has a chance to spread outside of the liver is incredibly important. That's why we have patients test every six months to see if there's a tumor in the liver. Since cirrhosis is the primary factor associated with a diagnosis of liver cancer, that means you have to reduce your risk of cirrhosis in order to reduce your risk of getting liver cancer. Recommendations to do that would include avoiding excess alcohol, getting checked for hepatitis C, staying up to date with hepatitis B vaccination, and reducing your risk of metabolic syndromes that can cause NASH. Hit the like and follow button if you want to hear more tidbits about liver disease and nutrition.